Red flag at Charlotte. A spin coming out of turn number four by Kyle Larson. And here's a look. Yeah, he's just in three and four. He starts off the corner here, and the car just steps out with him, and around she goes. And we talked, D.W., before this practice started, there's a little bit of a tailwind going down the back straightaway, which into turn three is more sweeping. There's some bumps there. Here's a wide shot of Larson coming around. That's pretty early in the corner to be loose, and, and I just wonder how much wind and the bumps, of course, the setup uh, affected how loose that car spinner was. up in turns three and four. That's spun out. I expected this qualifying session we're going to see later to be exciting. I did not expect the practice <laughs> no. session to be this exciting. No, I, I, these are happening way early too. That was, I thought that was pretty similar to what we saw with Kyle Larson earlier where he got loose getting into the corner and he saved it also like Kyle Busch did. That's way, yeah, that's that's way really back early. in the middle of the corner. And it's actually very similar to where Denny Hamlin got loose yeah. and then went up and hit the wall. Tell you what, it's it's it's. Uh, we've seen cars spin around a lot here lately, and they never hit the wall. That's amazing. Fire me. right now. If the, you look at that pole last week in Kansas. Uh oh, oh 33. Somebody about Yikes. to be on fire. Jeffrey Earnhardt. Or was it motor? Looks like. A, oh gosh. Motor's got pressure and everything. Looks like it smoked out of the right front, but you put some fluid down over here. Mm -hmm. Bad news for. Brandon Brown in that 86 machine as qualifying continues here at Charlotte while at commercial break. This happened to Brown. Well, you talked about you got to be committed. He knew he had to run a good lap. Just barely makes contact with the outside wall, but just going to swing around and catch the left rear corner. But you see the right front tire blow out there. Now that's the main problem and Phil we talked about the bumps and we talked about the heat and how how aggressive you have to be coming to the green you got to get that thing wound up and Brandon uh, went down into turn three and it looked like the truck was a little bit free with turns three and four giving them fits here during qualifying as Stuart Friesen just got sideways during his qualifying run wall watch this he got a little piece of it they're right in the center of the corner right when you have to go the other direction you see it just makes slight contact and you know what he was doing, Phil? He's still in the gas. <laughs> he said, I'm getting back to that start-finish yeah. line. And wow, this is an amazing job of driving. Just taps mm. the wall. I'll have to fix that up. But he was able to keep the thing heading in the right direction and still in the throttle. I think it was an eye-opener for Regan Smith, who's down there on the apron of the racetrack. See, that's a lot today. We're right here in the middle of three and four. And he's in the gas. I mean, he is hard in the gas. Got those rear tires spinning. Now he breaks her down. Side force did a nice job straightening the car out. She's <laughs> headed for pit road, and here I come. The orange cone was nervous <laughs> and should have been. This definitely may be a first for all-star qualifying right here. Absolutely needed his four fresh tires. I mean, that's formula drift right there. Oh, man, that's amazing drifting. Wow, this is crazy. Safe to say pit road entry speed was really low. He's where he's going. Look at all that Ryan smoke. Ryan Newman just saved a race car. <laughs> yep. Jump to the outside and try to make the move. Oh, Bell. Big trying issues. to hang on to it. I think he is. Left rear. Keep it up top here. It's still green. The left rear is down. Got a whole bunch more coming. Just keep running up top. Amazing job saving that truck. Run the top down the back. One more. Then get to the bottom. Come to the bottom here. Come to the bottom quick. Vance down on the bottom of the racetrack. It looks like he just tried to push it a little hard on entry on the inside of Kaz Grala, and around it goes. Nice job of gassing it up and keeping it out of that outside wall. Yeah, Kaz wasn't that close to him. He, it, it, Kaz didn't suck him around, but a uh, little bit too loose there early on for Austin. And you can see, look at John Hunter Nemechek driving right into that smoke fill. He can't Johnny see Hunter it. Had to duck to the bottom in that 21 truck around the 44. Oh, we got a Caution. spinner. Caution is out, and it's the 19 of Austin Cindric bringing out the yellow with eight laps remaining. Okay, put the tires on it. We didn't hit anything. Eight laps left Three, in this first stage. Here. If we flat the bottom, we got a flat. If not, around. Cindric was running ninth at the time. Repair to that right rear you saw as well. There's the spin. Let's ride on board with Cindric and see what he was experiencing. Don't give that up. One back in line. Bottom in. Clear, clear, clear. Hold on to it here. He had been battling with Ross Chastain. 
I don't, it didn't look like there was any contact, but the thing snapped around pretty quick, didn't it? It makes you wonder if maybe that, that right rear tire we saw was tore all to pieces. Maybe he had a, a leak in that right rear. It just got loose so quickly. It'd be hard to believe that it would have stepped out like that. You could see a little tire debris well, there. Well, you got those wings on your sprint cars, and it works just fine. But these outlaw, this is the uh, outlaw fasteners car, and I don't think that's what they had in mind with the uh, back end. I think they'll outlaw that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you're allowed to do it. It looked like Kaz Grala and possibly... The 99 truck of Brandon Jones had an issue, and you can see the Outlaw Fasteners Chevy for Grala's got some issues in the back. There he is battling for 10th. Ah. Yeah, the 99 of Brandon Jones was on the inside. He got loose, took himself and Kaz Grala into the outside safer barrier. That's a tough break for the rookie Grala, trying to gain experience and knowledge, but hopefully there's not enough damage to that 33 truck that they can't continue to learn and work, and you can see. Sometimes you got to get with it. Here's the 18 of Gregson, and the caution is out again. Don't see anything on. Oh, Kaz Grala in that 33 for the second time tonight. See, Kaz was by himself, just got a little bit loose, as you mentioned, Michael. Mm and just ran out of room, made some pretty significant contact with that right rear. Competing for a top five as the caution is out and Norm Benning brings it out in that six machine. Looks like the right front tire is down on Norm's truck. Seven of Brett Moffat will get the free pass. Look like... Tried to take a shortcut through the grass there it looked like. Yeah, he hit the restart zone and caught the grass there. Multicolored grass on the grill of his Chevrolet. Here when they had the fight. Oh, trouble. Oh, trouble. And it is. Is it Regan Smith? It is the 92 of Regan Smith. Looks like he was racing maybe with a 22 of Austin Wayne Self. Smith bringing it to pit road there on the access. That was round about the. 15th position, Phil. Yeah. Just a little bit of a bobble, it looked like, from Austin Wayne's self. He wasn't, he didn't move down that much, but uh, unfortunately, the 92 was right there. Let's see if we can look from Justin Haley. Watch. Mm -hmm. I just think so. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. You're all clear. We're right behind you. Caution, caution. Maybe Self just trying to stay off that outside wall field. Maybe veered over to the left just a bit. He cut you off. You did good. I mean, tell me what you really think. I mean, I had a, I thought I was still there. You know, you were still close enough. I mean, I had to run, and I felt like I was already still there. If you were still there, Dewey wouldn't have turned, man. Oh, spin. 44, Matt Mills. And the caution is out. Ooh, right in the middle of the racetrack. What an amazing job those guys did to avoid him. Again, we have the Crafton and Sauter, some of the others. Another opportunity to grab this win as you look at Mills. and Chase Briscoe goes around the outside. A close call right there. Yeah, Austin Cedric also goes around the outside. The rest of these trucks going down on the inside. Right on board with Cedric. Right, 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 back down, back down, back down, back down. Caution is out. Oh, no. They began the session. It's five minutes long, and now they have red flagged it. A golf cart has wandered onto the racetrack. I've seen down in turn one. I think he's just on a little casual ride. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's trying to find some shade. That's uh, that's not from uh, Rocky River over across the road down the mm, boulevard I there. No, I don't think the so. The 18-hole course. I believe that is one of the track vehicles. And uh, they are in hot pursuit. <laughs> They're going to get him. <laughs> he says, ah, oh, yeah, I think I might be in trouble here. DW, you and I went through this at Dover, Delaware. One time. <laughs> I lost my golf cart because of this. <laughs> I come around turn four. Okay, he's out of harm's way. Let's try this again. Let's go. Oh! Wow! Oh, that Trevor cool. Bain keeps it off the wall and hangs on. I mean, Danica just drove very aggressive, got to his lipper, didn't touch him, just took the air 
off the rear of the car and got him sideways. See Trevor slides up the racetrack. She gets to his left rear. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I think I think the air started to send him sideways and maybe a little contact. Mm. Great. A little save. bit. Uh, and can the pace fall off a little bit and allow him to make that? Whoa! Three car loose underneath the 47. Wow, what a save. Clear all around, power clear. Just gather back in there. <laughs> that was a Ooh. save, Whoa. guys. They were three wide with Carl Long and didn't look like they were all going to fit. They did. But oh, then, rub on the left rear. Yeah, the that's, that's not good. No. That'll, that'll be trouble. Yeah, he's going to have to come to pit road right away. I'll tell you what else is trouble, uh, Jeff. That 21 that the, went through traffic and cost him a bunch of time, and it's allowed Chase Elliott to get right back on his back bumper. Yeah, he's down, uh, down to the apron goes Almendinger. Oh, no. Well, Chase Elliott got a boot from Eric Jones, and around goes Castle. Oh. Well, that's the fear that you have when you have those two tires, that you're going to spin the tires really bad. Landon Castle knew what to expect. He knew Chase going to try to go three wide down in the corner down here. He tries to protect that inside. Well, you can see Chase hesitate because he wasn't quite to the start-finish line. He realized he couldn't get inside uh, of Landon Castle before that start-finish line. That's a rule that NASCAR has, so he hesitated a little bit. Then Eric Jones gave a little nudge to the 24. Landon comes down. They make contact. Around goes the 34. 24 has some damage on the right. I don't think it's significant, it's but there is some damage to the right front of the 24 car. Everyone gets by without incident. The lap does not count. Yeah, I mean, that's just a, a racing incident on a, on a restart in a race like this. When you, when you take two tires and everybody else has four, you we might be saying, wow, what a Look run off the corner. Oh, he's in the grass. Yes. Don't go in the grass. Boy, no. Yeah, he got the splitter. Oh, yeah. He, he something messed under he, the nose. He ruined his car this right there. Oh, oh no, spin by the 77. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, hang that, on. You, can't run, you can't run through the grass. Now, Good. was Chase Great. Elliott ahead of Daniel Suarez when that caution came out? That's what we're going to have to determine. That's the damage from the left front when he went through the grass. Yeah, that's just I like right there. The, the, whoa, here we go. Now this is where this is where the 77 just got off. You know, that's that's the problem with that grass. When you get in, we saw this with Dale Earnhardt Jr. several years ago. It ripped the nose right off of his car down in the grass. But you know what I like? Daniel Suarez in the 19. He's the old man of this group at 25. <laughs> Young guns indeed. Wow. Just got. Mm. Yep. We didn't have anywhere to go. He had a heck of a head of his team. Is he to run off the grass or run in the back of that 24 car? And, and before all this happened, I got to say the job that Daniel Suarez and Chase Elliott did running side by side, bumping, banging, to just keep their cars going straight and not. You know, normally a young guy is going to just go in there as hard as he can, drift up into the other one, and one of them is going to Way wreck up high. Ryan Newman. He may have had contact no with Denny Hamlin. 